this is not a spring chicken if you're wondering what I'm doing with what these are cloud cookies. I'm actually, I, I picked this because I wanted to see how much of a shadow it would cast because, well, well, we don't have a groundhog here and I could put Monty up here, but, oh, I could do that to see how big of a shadow she could cast to find out. <gasps> I don't think she'd think it was continue. funny. She shouldn't That's do anything for food, though. Well, no. well, I could. Well, for now, we better bring old Kemo with comments on the headlines of today. <laughs> oh, Trump endorses Romney after Romney <laughs> invests in Trump projects. God, if you don't think that the re I, I've been telling people from day one, Romney does not have to win one single vote in any of the primaries, and the Republicans going to name him the nominee because he's one of them. Mm -hmm. The whole problem is, is what they're they're trying to get. What they haven't been able to even get through. Bill O'Reilly is not extremely. He's not the most intelligent man in the world. When he, well, Romney is the most intellectual of the bunch, and the intellectual should always be the winner. Um, okay, over on another Fox station, where they keep getting lectured about politics, they pointed out the fact that Romney is not going to have enough votes at the convention to win the convention if if Genrich. Again, reach Santorum and Paul continue to stay in the race because they're going to siphon off. Plus, they discovered minor little detail yesterday. Uh, under the rules that basically struck down 50% of all of the votes that um, that Florida had, it was not a winner take all. It was a proportional. So uh, he only got five more uh, delegates than did um, Genrich. And basically, Genrich is going to enforce that rule. Basically, they've already went to federal court on the Republican Party to force them. Uh, a person, a, a sort of Ron Paul supporter, is threatening to take them all the way to Supreme Court unless they start enforcing the rules of the party and that people have an equal opportunity in this election. He said, if it's just Romney, then why spend all this money and effort? Just simply tell everybody, we've decided Screw you, public. We've decided Mitt Romney is our man, and we don't give a damn whether any of you vote. That's what he said to the PNR. They're, they're saying, well, we have to look into this. No, it's called, it's in their rules. It's in the, when they basically penalized them for, for moving the thing up, everybody that got penalized had to abide by the rules, which is proportional thing until, I love this, until April Fool's Day. Oh. Then it can be winner take all. And details of the Apollo 1 fire that shocked NASA. Um, yeah, they discovered that they, they already knew that that could happen and nobody paid any attention to it. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. They'd, uh, it had happened in Russia and they knew exactly the cause. Okay, here's the whole trick. That if you pay any attention to the, to the movie that was done on Apollo 1, the miniseries, you'll see one of the engineers running for the, uh, running to stop exactly what caused the problem, which meant he knew what the problem was, but he couldn't get there soon enough. And because they widely know it, because the Russians had the same problem. And Facebook to be valued as the most valued company in the history of the world. I know. Well, they uh, since they have already said as a, they they basically is dribbling out now that Facebook isn't quite as strong as they thought Facebook was supposed to be, and the market is collapsing with it, saying the fact that well Facebook hasn't figured out how to go mobile. Um, it's basically, Facebook is all about mobile, and they haven't figured out how to go mobile and make any money off of it. They already are mobile. I know, and they can't, they can only make money off of uh, PCs and laptops. Oh, As really? long as the PC and laptop is not mobile, as long as the laptop is not mobile, it works. If you have to go mobile, mm -hmm. it's brilliant, isn't it? You can't mm -hmm. go mobile with Facebook and make it function right. Interesting. Well, you know, I, I'll tell you that on my Facebook, I always like to look at it on a PC versus on a cell phone. Because on a cell it just never looks the same on a cell phone. Oh, well, you know what else? You don't get all those ads. That's right. That's where they can't, they can't monetize mobile. Mm -hmm. They can only monetize a PC. In California, teacher charged with abusing almost two dozen kids. Okay, this is a good one. Uh, we'll put it this way, if my youngest came home and said the teacher took all my clothes off of me and was whipping me with a horse whip and put an, uh, put an apple in my mouth and tied my hands behind my back and hung me from a ceiling, I think I might have went over and done something to the teacher, supposedly. For, this has been going on for years. The teacher's been doing that? Which means he hasn't been. 
I was going to say something to, to Mike. Uh, okay, I'm going to explain one simple thing about children. Children lie. And children get together and they lie. Like all those teachers in Bakersfield, where they were sent to jail, their careers were destroyed, and they found out there was no satanic worship going on. They weren't killing and sacrificing animals. They weren't threatening people's families. The kids just got together because they didn't like the students and made up, teachers made up a lie. Oh, that's bad. That happens. You know, this is this is a good thing to remember. Children lie, and they lie because they're not paying attention to kids like they should be. So. And the head of Senate, Senate military panel says Romney is clueless. Oh yeah, they, the, the military wants to cut back by 50%. The military doesn't need these weapon systems. The military wants to pull out of Afghanistan. The military wants to pull out of Iraq with no one there to guard our rear. The military doesn't want any intervention in the world. And the military said that all these weapons programs on the drawing books should be shut down. Uh, I don't think the military said that to anybody. <laughs> but it's the Democrats run the Senate. So remember, the Democrats, these same people decided that the Justice Department had no culpability whatsoever in something ran by the Justice Department because who was responsible for it? Who? George Bush. Oh, that's right, because he still is president. Yeah. I know, and if I sound like I'm really serious about that, or you didn't get my sarcastic humor, it's because there are still people that believe you. Go still to president. Sundance, where, uh, where we, they were talking about a, a thing where little girl goes to the President of the United States, George Bush, and asks him to free his slave, Barack Obama, because only Barack Obama can save the world from big business and global warming. Mm -hmm. And Barack Obama is then unanimously elected president of the world because Barack Obama is standing up to George Bush, his oppressor. Ooh. Barack Obama is president. He is not, George Bush is not people in the film community. And people, I think the people on the left actually think Bush is president. They do. I mean, it's just sort of unbelievable. And pot legalization efforts forge ahead in key states. Yeah, it basically... And who is in charge of those key states? Mm -hmm. Democrats. Okay, here's the trick is that if you're taking marijuana, marijuana basically has the same destructive effects as do other drugs and hallucinogenics. Do you want to be flying on an airplane with a guy that's been taking marijuana because there's no laws about it? You want to be driving in a bus, riding in a bus where they've been taking marijuana because there's no laws about it? And they said that it's less, it's less hazardous than drinking or smoking. To, uh, no. Well, do uh, you want to be in a car with somebody that's high? And there's no laws to prevent it. Mm -hmm. they're, they're basically, they're putting a cart before, they're going to legalize it, then we're going to do a study to see if it's dangerous. Oh, they've had a long time. Yeah, can you imagine if they did that with the FDA? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Antibiotic resistant bacteria found in 37 U.S. states. Oh, yeah. That's bad. I mean, it's just... Um, uh, okay, nobody, they're not cleaning the systems anymore like they should because what happens is everybody is flushing God off of everything into their toilets now. And what happens is a parent doesn't want his kid to cease to have something, so they dump it down the toilet. California, California is really great. What they do is when you, when you have a container, before you can put it in a recycle thing, you have to flush it down the sink. I know, which means it still gets in your pipes. Yeah, it's in your system. But basically, that stuff, if your system you're supposed is not, to clean it, or you wipe it out and then you throw it in the trash can anyway. Yeah, but you still have to wash it out before you can do it. And whatever is in that container is going into the water system. And a lot, okay, it, we're, we know in this building you're getting ready to tear up the streets out front and put brand new piping in. And all of that stuff is crudded up. We, got, well, we know what her, we, they, basically, her system's been torn out twice now because mm -hmm. of it. An Alaska volcano lava dome forms an alert level raised. Oh yeah, it's, it's going kaboomy again. I think Mount Rainier is going off in Washington. Um, Mount St. Helens is going off. You know, but it, no, I'm gonna, okay, we're going to try BS the bull. BS, did you know that one volcano puts more pollutants into the air and causes more global warming than all the industry in the world combined in one day? Oh God, why wasn't I told that? <laughs> And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, when you get to be old like me, you basically can do the same things you used to do, but quite often it's just not as fast. 